Hi, I'm Logan from Reef Breeders LLC, and today I'm going to show you how to program your Nanolite Wi-Fi, which is also known as the Coral Box Moon LED. Before your start, be sure to go to the Apple Store or Google Play Store and download the free smartphone app, which will be titled Aqua LED and will have a cartoon yellow tang as the app icon. Next, you want to plug in your light and allow it to power up. Then, go to the network settings in your phone and connect to the light's Wi-Fi network. The name of the network is displayed on a sticker on the side of your light and is unique to each unit. Once you find the correct Wi-Fi network, use the default password of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 to connect to the lights network. Once you have connected to the light, open the Aqua LED app and select the light to connect to it. After that, you will be brought to the main programming menu. First, let's go over the main menu. The top icon that looks like a pointing finger is the manual mode. In this mode, all your settings will hold the same 24-7. This mode is great for previewing and testing certain color combinations. The bottom icon, which looks like a clock, is your custom mode. This allows you to program a daily schedule with 3 to 24 set points, which can each be adjusted individually. To your right is the lightning mode, where you can program the frequency and intensity of simulated lightning storms. To the left is the cloud cover mode, where you can program the time and strength of cloud cover simulation. The toggle switch below the programming wheel will manually toggle the entire light on or off. The mode button at the bottom indicates whether the light is running automatically or manually, and the dials on the very bottom indicate the live output of each channel. In the center of the programming wheel, the current time is displayed. To program an automatic schedule, press the clock icon and you will be brought to the programming menu. There are a couple of presets you can download. One is titled LPS and the other SPS. To do so, press the small blue gear icon. LPS is a good starting point for most users and you can tweak it to better fit your individual needs. SPS is a good point to reach at some point in the future, however you must acclimate to these intensities. If you would like, you could even program your own custom schedule from scratch. To do so, you first add or remove steps by pressing the clock icon with a plus sign to add steps, or the clock icon with a minus sign to remove steps. You can do as little as 3, or as many as 24 steps each day. Once you have the number of steps you would like, you can then set the time of each step and the output you want each channel to be at the time of that step. When you are done, press return, then press the upload key, which looks like a file with a green arrow in it, to upload the program to the light.
Once the program has uploaded, press Yes to confirm. Press the back arrow to go out to the main menu again. To set a manual mode, simply go to the manual menu and set each channel to the output you would like. While you do so, it'll show you a live preview of the approximate color output. Press set manual mode to finish. To set a lightning storm, go to the lightning menu, set it to on, and enter the time you would like the storm to start, or alternatively, select run now to run it right away. To set a period of cloud cover, go to the cloud menu and select a start time and strength or have it run immediately by toggling the Run Now switch. Press Save to upload this to the light. To check for updates and update the light or the app, go to the Settings menu and select Update the app or Update the light. You can also restore the light to its default settings or manually turn it on or off from this menu. Thank you for watching. I hope I was able to address most of the difficulties people have had in using this app. If you have any questions or if, this, or if there is something we may have missed, please contact us through our website, www.reefbreeders.com. Thank you.